I'm Farmer Joe from Green Our Planet, and I was just looking at all of these plants and animals in the garden. Check these out. They all have so many shapes and sizes. Wow! Do you know what we call all these shapes and sizes and colors? We call them traits. Do you know what traits are? And why are plant and animal traits so different? And where do traits come from? Would you like to find out? Come on, let's go! So let's get out our science notebooks and get ready to write. I have a question for you to answer. How would you describe yourself? Could you write down some sentences that describe yourself? Do you think you could do that? While you're doing that, I'm going to go to the board and write down some words that describe me. So Farmer Joe has black curly hair, brown eyes, he's tall, and he has tan colored skin. Now what did you write about yourselves? I can see that some of you have black hair, some of you have brown hair, some of you have red or even blonde hair. It looks like some of you have brown eyes, some of you have green eyes, and some of you even have blue eyes. All of these different colored hair and eyes are what we call traits. But what exactly are traits? Do you know? Traits are inherited features like colors or sizes or shapes of an organism. One of my traits is that I have black curly hair. But what does the word inherited mean? Do you know? Let me show you. This is Farmer Joe, this is Farmer Joe's mom, and this is Farmer Joe's dad. We all have different traits. Now my dad has blue eyes and brown and straight hair. But I have brown eyes and black and curly hair. Where do you think I got my brown eyes and black and curly hair? from my mom. She has brown eyes and black and curly hair too. I inherited those traits from my mother. So let me write down a word for you. Inheritance is the process of passing traits 
from one generation to the next. So that means that all of you inherited your eye and hair and skin color from your parents just like I did. So I have another question for you. Do animals have traits? If you said yes, you're right. We just saw some of those traits, like different colors, shapes, and sizes, here in the garden. Well, dogs are animals, right? Do any of you have dogs? Have you ever noticed how many different traits dogs have? Some dogs are really small. Some have super short legs and some have really long legs. And most of them have different color fur. Dogs have lots of traits and they have many variations on their traits. And you know what? Just like you and I inherited our traits from our parents, dogs inherit their traits from their parents. That's why wiener dogs look like hot dogs, because their parents look like hot dogs with little legs sticking out of them. And that's why poodle dogs look like poodles, because their parents were poodles. All dogs inherit their traits of size, color, and shape from their parents. But what about other animals? Do they inherit their traits from their parents just like dogs? Yes, they do. Baby elephants inherit their long trunks and big ears from their parents. Baby giraffes inherit their spots and their long necks from their parents. All animal species inherit their traits from their parents. But here's something interesting. Just like I inherited my brown eyes and my black hair from my mother and not from my father, not all traits are passed down from one generation to the next. Take dogs, for example. Do you know where all dogs came from? What their ancestor was? That's right. Dogs came from wolves. Woo! So, how did that happen? Well, if you take a wolf pup, that is a runt, and breed it with another wolf pup, that is a runt, and then they have pups, and you take the runts from those pups, and you make them have new pups, then you know what you eventually get? A wiener dog! <laughs> so wiener dogs come from wolves, and so did the Poodles and Cocker Spaniels and all the other dog breeds in the world. How amazing is that? So I have a question for you. What about plants? Do plants have traits? And if so, can we change them just like we changed wolves into dogs? Can we select the traits that we want the plants to have? Well, let's take a look at corn. Do you like corn? 
Do you know what the ancestor of corn looked like thousands of years ago? It was from Mexico and it was tiny. But ancient people took the seeds from some of the plants that had larger corn kernels and they used those seeds to plant more corn. Then they took the seeds from the largest of those corn plants and they planted those. Over thousands of years, we ended up with big, juicy corn kernels. Our ancestors used the same process of selecting traits over generations that allowed us to create pet dogs from wild wolves. Now, about 150 years ago, an Austrian scientist named Gregor Mendel studied how plants inherited traits from their parents. He spent years studying how the colors of pea plant flowers were passed on from one generation to the next, just like the color of my eyes was passed on to me from my mother. Mr. Mendel became the first scientist to study the inheritance of traits from one generation to the next. How cool is that? So do you want to know something interesting? Well, look at this garden and all the plants that we have growing. We have Swiss chard, we have cilantro, we have parsley and dill and tomatoes. All these plants were developed by people thousands of years ago who gradually created vegetables that were larger and larger and more and more delicious, just like the ancient people in Mexico who developed juicy corn on the cob from its smaller, wild ancestor. So I have some homework for you. The next time you sit down to eat, just remember that the food you eat today was developed by your ancient ancestors who changed the traits of the plants and animals we eat over many, many generations. Our ancient ancestors supplied us with all the different foods that we eat today. They also gave us our best friends, our pet dogs. Woo! I'm Farmer Joe from Green Our Planet, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And remember, the Earth is the only planet in our solar system that has life on it. Which is why the Earth is the only planet that has such beautiful blues and greens. So let's remember to protect our planet and all the life on it. Bye!